Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybruises. In today's video, we will be discussing about the Shopflow overview. And we know that the Shopflow module is actually introduced in Odoo 17, right? And it's a companion module to the manufacturing app. So it provides a visual interface for gearing the manufacturing orders and the work orders. And the employees can easily track the time spent on each manufacturing order and on different work orders. So let's see how to use the Odoo 18 shop flow. To view every confirmed demo regardless of the readiness, click on the um, yeah, cross button on ready to start and filter to remove it from the search bar. So here you can find all the things over here. An MO information card on all page shows all the relevant details of the associated MO and also provide employee with options for processing the MO. And here the header for a MO card shows the MO number and uh, you can find the MO number uh, over here in the header and it also uh, shows that the product number um, of unit being produced and the status of the MO. If the work has not yet be begun on the MO, the status appears confirmed. And we can say that once a work has begun, the status updates in progress and um, if the all work orders for an MO have been completed and MO is ready to close, the status will be set to close. So you can find uh, the things over here currently. There are uh, different demos which are in confirmed state and in progress state. So when you just remove the filter, you can see everything over here. And the main body of an MO card shows the line for which completed work order and if any followed to the I mean followed by the current work order that needs to be completed. Completed work orders are indicated by a green check mark to right of the title. So currently none are completed so it's not indicated over here. The current work order is indicated by a button that opens the page to work orders um, which the order is assigned. And uh, let's see how to do the uh, working over here. So in this case you can find that uh, there is uh, a desk combination as well as a tabletop, a drawer, black and all. So let's move on to the um, module to manage with uh, a new uh, MO. So for that let me just move on uh, to the manufacturing module. So we know the shop floor is the companion module to the manufacturing module and you would be able to find all the uh, work centers over here. Now let's consider the product over here that is table. So we are just going to manufacture the product table. So let's say I'm going to set it as table over here. And let's search for the product table. And currently we have three quantity. And uh, let's move on to the bill of material. So under the bill of material, let's change the bill of material into manufacture this product. So once that's done, we also just need to link uh, the operation. To link the operation, let's move on to the configuration and under the operation, we have to create a new operation that is assembling. So let's say I'm going to provide the operation as assembling and you can choose the bill of material that is table. So as you just choose the table uh, over here, the next step is that we have to choose the work center. So we are just going to set it as assembly line 1 and let me confirm. And let's ensure that this uh, work center is not blocked. So as you just move on to the uh, overview, you can see that it's not blocked. And we just need to perform the uh, working that is manufacturing of the IRM. So let's click on new button where you can fill out the details of the bill of material. So we know the table is the bill of material. So as I just choose a product table, all other details will be auto populated over here. Now let's save this and let's confirm the order. Now, as I just confirmed the order here, you can see that we have to check the quality. We have to just go with the shop floor and everything. So here you can find the shop floor. As you just move on to the shop floor, it shows the name card. Uh, that is the information card of the manufacturing, which is in confirmed state by showing the assembly uh, and all. Now we have to just undergo with certain trousers over here. 
So before that, we just need to plan the uh, manufacturing, right? So in order to plan the manufacturing, let's move on to the manufacturing module. And from there, let's consider the one that we are dealing with, that is manufacturing process that we are just dealing with right now. And let me choose that. Afterwards, let's plan uh, the manufacturing. And under the work order, you can see that currently it's ready to start. So we just need to uh, set everything. Now, in order to start this, you can just click on start. That is the manufacturing process will be starting from here. And currently, it is in, in progress. And as you just move on to the shop flow here, you can see the confirm is just changed into in progress. And we just need to uh, do the operation. So let's move on there. And we have to uh, do certain things over here. That is, uh, we have to provide certain information and all. Now, let's set it as mark as done. And let's move on to the next operation. So there is uh, nothing more with next operations and it is currently being finished. So if you want to check the quality and all, you can check the quality. So we can see that uh, uh, generate a new serial number on the assembled product. So uh, if here you can find a serial number, but we also just need to set that. So let's say it as uh, T01 and let's click on next. And afterwards, we just need to uh, set a serial number on uh, the generated uh, assembled product. So let's move on to the uh, other section. And here we just need to uh, provide the picture. And let's say that I'm going to upload the picture of table. And let's click on validate. And here again, uh, we have to provide the picture of the table head uh, serial so let's say again we are just going to provide the table picture simply search the product and provide the picture that is actually you have to provide the table head currently i have the uh, picture of table so i have provided likewise now enter the table head serial number so let's say h01 and click on next and afterwards we have to provide uh, uh, the other things and all and let's let me provide that now let's say please ensure your screw using the new screwdriver so let's check the quality so you can provide uh, the things over there and click on next and again um, uh, you can provide all other details so if you want to click on validate uh, you can click on validate and you can just proceed with other things and it's been uh, uh, good and we have passed everything now you can just provide the degrees over there uh, the adjacent and all so please attach the legs to the table uh, so we have to attach four legs and we just need to uh, set all other details and click on validate and provide the uh, tape i mean table leg load number and afterwards again provide that now write a quality check note and you can just again click on next and Again, let's say it's been passed and let's discard that. So currently it's been produced and as you just move on to the shop flow, here you can see it's about to close. And if you want to make any quality check from this section, you can also do that. Now let's move on to the all other things and you can find that we can also easily manage the quality check from this section. And we have just done with that. Okay, and let's discard and here uh, it's about to close right so after moving on to the close you can also find it from the manufacturing module so as you just move on to the manufacturing here let's remove the filters and let's choose the one that we are dealing with and you can see that under the work order uh, actually we have just done with the um, manufacturing and uh, here you can see it's been finished so that's how we just deal with the uh, shop flow in Odoo 18 and we know it's a companion module of manufacturing
So I hope this video clarifies how to use a shop floor of Odoo 18. And if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybroses. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.